Hey, it's The Average Dan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up a camper with a weight distribution hitch. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is back up the car, center up the ball, and lower the camper onto it. Of course, you wanna make sure that all of your uh, jacks are up. All right, so once you have the hitch down on uh, the ball, you want to go ahead and lock this. And we're actually going to use the tongue jack to help us put on the weight distribution. Uh, it's gonna allow us to kind of level up the camper and the car. As you can see, uh, when you first put it on, especially in our situation, because we have a little bit of a, a dip in the lawn here, uh, it really weighs down the back of the car. What we want to do is get all this level and then get the weight distribution bars hooked up so we are good to go for our trip. All right, so once we raise this up, uh, that's going to allow us to put the weight distribution on here for this particular unit. You slide it in here almost uh, like a, well, maybe not quite a 90 degree angle, but close. And it's got this little tab that you line up and then you rotate it and that stays in place. And then you come over here and you have this little hook here that you wanna hook the chains onto. We were able to get four links on the other side. We want to match it on both sides. Get on there, like so. And then we're going to use a the bar that came with the camper or a pipe to actually move these to the upright position and then lock them in place with the pins that are provided. So on this side, we're going to use the pipe that came with the kit with the weight distribution to put these up. Uh, if you didn't get one of these, you can just buy, if you have a length of pipe, or you can pick up a length of pipe at Home Depot or Lowe's or something. But you slide this on here like so, making sure to keep your arms, legs, small children, and pets out of the path of this lower bar. Because if this lets go under pressure, it's going to swing out towards the car. So you want to make sure that you are not in its path. And then it's just a matter of having that leverage to put it up like so. And you're good to go. You want to make sure you put your pin pin in this case they came like this put this in here lock it down and we're good to go now that that's on we can do all the other stuff here which is throw this in pull it back out in it fell off where I had it there's a little bit of dirt going on it clean that up we have our shoes side okay and then you'll see a wire hanging around so ours looks like this this is attached to the brakes it's basically the emergency brake on the uh, camper in the event that the camper becomes detached from your car so what will happen is it pulls on this cable and applies the brakes. Put this in here. Put that on there like so. Twist it on. We're good. All right, the last step in this process, of course, after everything is in place, is to lower it back down. you're ready to travel of course always make sure to do a walk around on your camper make sure everything looks good and that your lights and turn signals and everything are operational and have a safe trip I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos about RV camping and other outdoor related content, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, this is The Average Dan. Thanks.